This video has been produced to demonstrate the side docking approach to gynaecological surgery. We would like to acknowledge Dr. Arnie Vinkola, on whose teaching this video is based. Traditionally, the robot is docked between the patient's legs. This has the advantage of the robot cart being placed in the same axis as the patient's torso, with the camera arm in the midline and each of the robot arms placed symmetrically either side of the patient. Note that the camera arm is placed in the sweet spot. Unfortunately, this between the legs approach does not allow easy access to the vagina. This can be important if the uterine manipulator needs to be repositioned during a procedure or if there is some difficulty in delivering the uterus per vagina at the end of the operation. The side docking approach, as illustrated here, enables easy access to the vagina at any point during a procedure. Furthermore, the Between the Legs assistant is free to come and go without impairment. The trocars are placed in the traditional way as per Between the Legs docking. This video demonstrates side docking from the patient's right. This would be used when arm 1 and 3 are on the patient's right. If arm 3 is placed on the patient's left, as illustrated here, then side docking would take place on the opposite side, as shown here. The robot cart is pushed at an angle of 45 degrees from the midline, with the central column of the robot cart and the camera arm in line with the contralateral shoulder. Arm 2 is placed as demonstrated. It's forming an arch over the area in which the Between the Legs assistant is seated. Note the number 2 is facing to the left lateral. The camera arm is placed in the midline. Note the blue arrow is not in the sweet spot. Having clipped on arm 1 and 3 to the trocars, it is then important to position the arms correctly to allow sufficient range of movement. We will demonstrate the position of arm 3, but the same applies to arm 1. If the arm is not pushed towards the central column, there is a limited range of movement. If the arms are pushed towards the central column, the range of movement is increased. Note the number 1 and 3 are facing to the left lateral as per arm 2. If we look down from the patient head end and look at the position of the arms from the trocar to the first articulation joint, then the position of the arms is exactly the same for both the between the legs docking and side docking approaches. We hope you have found this video informative. Enjoy your surgery.